everyone, it's me, YD28, and welcome back to my channel, The Sims 4 Let's Get to Work. Let's play. Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. Ugh, okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, YD28, and welcome back to my channel, The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. Yeah, I can't talk today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But today is Glen Day again. I'm really, really, really excited to go back to the detective career. Um, I haven't been playing much of Get to Work because it's only one LP and my other LPs, I'm not touching the careers or anything. So I'm really, really excited to get into uh, more of the detective career and everything. So Glenn is taking a shower. He should get promoted today. Um, this thing is eating a slice of cake for breakfast. You do you, honey. You do you. And Matthew is waiting for Mallory to make some eggs and toast. Breaking bottles on the stove. That's good when you have bare feet. But he's feeling really, really focused from the genius trait. Glenn? Glenn. Look at Jean go! Oh my god, I need pictures. I need pictures. Don't mind me. Look at all their faces. Oh, what a great mood we're all going to be in. Everyone's like, God damn it, Mallory. God damn it. Look at these two go. Awesome. Mallory. Look at her run away. She's like, no. 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 <laughs> She's so creepy. Matthew and her are just like, bye. Now everyone's like, bye. Oh man. How are we really going to afford the retail lot if we burn everything and have to replace it? Oh my god. What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? Well, thankfully, there's still time for us to feel a little better. We have some time, but what we're going to do... Oh my god, we can denounce our friendship. He's feeling really, really angry, so he's going to come here and try to calm himself down in the mirror um, before work. Mallory, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. We will one day, one day afford your retail store. I promise, sweetheart, I promise. It'll be really, 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 really soon. But she's going to come clean the floor really, really quickly and uh, get that going. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, we're going to send Matthew to work alone. Um, and she can just eat some leftover scrambled eggs. Um, so off he goes. Oh my god, slamming things and everything. He's feeling confident from a, being a firefighter, bravely extinguishing a blaze that really boosts the Sims' confidence. Uh, so we're going to show off our muscles to her. Oh, she's flirting with Sweet us. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> we could... Uh, he wants to embrace her, so I think we're going to do that before work. Um, hopefully she likes it. And here's Jean being a cutie pie, a cutie patootie. Um, I'm going to get her to play a video game on her phone for a second. And then she's going to come here and water her plants. Because, yes, need to do that, need to do that for sure. Uh, and he's going to take it easy at work because he had a terrible time. Uh, and we should be going to work any moment with Mr. Glenn. A mini, mini, mini. Okay, do some sit-ups. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Duty calls. We're going to join Glenn in the detective career. So excited. So excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Training day two. Train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. Ooh, so we'd probably be... I feel like Glenn would be more of an authoritative figure. He's not... He's... He's a little bit hot-headed and self-assured, so he can kind of lays down the law. So Clue discovered Glenn has discovered that the suspect is an art lover. Glenn has discovered that the suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt. Go on patrol. So how do we go on patrol? 
Crime map can be used to go on patrol. Alrighty, so we're going to just go on patrol real quick. Ooh, I wonder where we're going to be going. I'm so excited. This is so interesting. Where are we? When an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, you issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. Well, we're throwing away some trash. Oh my god. Where are we? Oh, okay. I see. Um, so we can... Oh. Oh, Zoe's here. Oh, and Gavin's here. I can do a friendly introduction. Or uh, we're uncomfortable from working out. We're sore. Um, you can complain about our problems. Rile up. Bind a flim. Come here, leave a flow. Cones it will change. Locus will be. Alrighty, and we'll show off our muscles and tell an unbelievable story. Oh, okay, or he can leave. Oh, we got him all angry. But apparently we can't go inside, so we're just going to... Uh... Oh, we can come talk to him. We kicked over that trash can. <gasps> issue a citation. Oh my god, we totally got him angry though, and he took it out on the garbage can. Now we're gonna issue citations. Oh my god, I need a picture of this. Go, queen of soul. His arm glitched out, but yeah. Uh, so we're gonna pick this up and throw this away. Um, and yeah, and then we can. Chat some more with civilians. Longus. So I want to chat some more. Oh, he's sad. That's not really good. Hag dag. You can try to cheer him up and propose a crazy scheme. And I want to show off our muscles. Gina's off to work. That's very good. Oh, we said bye bye. I want to just show off my muscles to someone. Oh, it's Jay. Jay. Oh, he went to work. Hmm. Who's this? Some old lady. Uh, who's this? Some guy. Let's come introduce ourselves. Let's just walk in all confident, like he's sitting in the middle of the road. We should issue him a citation for that. Uh, we'll show her muscles, talk about handiness, insult him, maybe. Scare him. Insult him some more. Uh, yell at him. There we go. Alrighty, we'll go here. Alrighty, alrighty, that's nice. Let's see if he does anything bad that we can issue a citation to him for. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we can rummage through here. I want to rummage because we get stuff if we rummage through the garbage. He got one Blarfy. That's so nice. Alrighty, but we're going to return to the police station and see what else we have to do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, so we're back at the police station. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin in APB. <gasps> well, you have a rough description of the suspect. The more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. It's like, it's like, uh, guess who? Anyways, we're going to pop to the bathroom and issue an all points bulletin. How do I do that? Is that on the computer or here? Oh, yep. Use the crime map to issue an APB. The more clues you add before issuing the APB, the better chance you'll have to catch the suspect. Um, well, do we have any more clues? No, we don't. So, we're going to issue an APB because I guess we have enough um, information to uh, put this guy... Oh, 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 we're going somewhere. Oh, I didn't realize that. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this music. All points bulletin. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the suspect. Use the notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's a child here. <laughs> and, um, some guy. Okay, so let's check out our notebook. The suspect is male, an elder, an art lover, and wearing a short sleeve t-shirt. Well, I don't think it's this guy. But we can introduce ourselves and ask about the suspect to him. He's not wearing a short sleeve t-shirt. That's a three-quarter sleeve shirt. Oh, Nancy, hi. He's like, oh, I think he's somewhere over there. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Okay. Um, alrighty, let's take a look around. For an elder wearing a short sleeve t-shirt male hmm this kind of looks like the guy but we're gonna have to uh we're gonna come introduce ourselves and get to know him a bit uh, we can get to know him ask about his career Ask about suspects. He's good. Unemployed. Who else could it be? He's pointing. I don't really remember. Maybe they went that way? Hmm, you're suspicious, bro. You are suspicious. Let's compliment his outfit. I wish there was, um... Mm. Let's discuss interests? Why are we cloud gazing? No, 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 stop that. Stop cloud gazing! Um, click this button to leave work early or stay late. No, stop cloud gazing. I want you to discuss your interests. I think he is the one, but I'm not entirely sure. He's the only male elder here wearing short sleeves. So that's an adult. But let's look over here quickly, because there might be somebody. Somebody. But I think it's him. I think we need to arrest him. Let's do it. We're going to arrest him. Because there's no one else around. Uh, oh, let's describe a new idea, because that might get his art level or trait. Um, hmm. Tell an engaging story? I don't know how else to know. I think we're just going to arrest him. Yeah, that's an adult. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it has to be him. Alright, let's do it. Come on. I want to take a picture, too. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! I feel like Dora the Explorer, but like, more badass than her, if you know what I mean. Because like, we're actually arresting people and doing stuff. But we arrested him um, and we brought him to the station. Now that you've learned about workout in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your coworkers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit or browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. Um, so I guess we're booking him in. Okay, he's going to pee, but then we're going to um, fingerprint him, take his mugshot, and search him. Although I guess we should search him first. I don't know how this works. So we're going to take him to the booking station. I'm going to click this and we're going to say stay late. So that we can process him. Our first suspect! 
Uh, we're going to fingerprint him as well. <laughs> Finding all these gross things. He's like, that's not mine. That's not mine. Um, and we're going to fingerprint him. Alrighty, and then we're going to lock him in the cell. And you go. Woohoo! So now he's in there. And he's going to run and pee really quickly. And we have gold for our work day, so I'm not going to really worry too much about anything else. But we could, uh, we could ask her if she needs any help. Oh, apparently not. But we could discuss case theories with our lab technician co-worker, Caitlin Massey. Get to know her. Also, this elderly guy. And I don't know what this place is. We can apparently sit in there. Look, like these, these guys are all just like chatting with each other and he's like, I'm, I still belong here. I have a family. I didn't do anything. Nah, you are guilty. Guilty as charged. But they're all getting along very well in there. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to come out here and chat. And we can come take her police report before we leave. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. <laughs> Glenn's workday will end. Did you just get your badge? Would it be possible to speak to a more senior officer? Well, all right. Um, okay, bye. We were just leaving. <gasps> and we got promoted! We are now an officer. He will now make an additional 8 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 28. He's also received the following bonus, 160 simoleons, some new clothes, and his next shift is Wednesday at 8 a.m. So he has tomorrow off, which is super exciting. Um, so yay for Glenn! He's finally promoted! Now him and Matthew and Jean are all level 2 in their career, which is very, very exciting. Um, so exciting. Going by, slowly but surely, we are getting there. So now, I kind of want to see what uh, Matthew's here, and we got our bills as well. Oh my god, we're never going to be able to get this retail store. But I think he's going to come take a shower and maybe upgrade it to <laughs> upgrade the water flow regulator. Um, and Matthew is here, he wants to chat with us. Gene is still at work, but that's okay. Um, I think... She wants to cook an excellent meal, so I think we'll serve some garden salad for dinner again. And he can eat this fish taco. What does he have to do for work? He needs to treat two patients, um, but we'll be working with him, I think, on Wednesday. Because um, when does Jean have work? She has work all week, so we're going to work with her tomorrow. And then Matthew, um, Wednesday. And then hopefully by then, Thursday, we can go, we can buy Mallory her store. Um, we do need about 5,000 smolians, though, so I think we will have to wait a little bit longer before we can buy it for her, because there's no point in buying the lot if we can't even build on it yet. So I think we'll wait until we have about 5,000 smolians. But Jean brought home 288 smolians, and um, she's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. She's going to come mop this up really quick. And, uh, yeah, she wants to spray a plant, but we don't need to right now. Um, and I think we'll listen to classical and uh, tell them an engaging story. He does want to take a vacation day, so I think I'll let him take a vacation day again tomorrow because we're not going with him to work tomorrow. So he's going to take a vacation day from the doctor career. Oh. And Mallory is making her food. She wants to be funny. So we're going to tell her a knock-knock joke. And she's going to grab a serving as well. And Glenn will come grab a serving and we will eat together. 
Uh, we're gonna use the toilet. All right, so he took a vacation day. All good. He wants to level up his handiness skill. You can grab a servant. Come on. Good, good, good. So we're all eating. Look how cute we are. This music is pissing me off. <laughs> she wants to hug someone. Aww. Uh -huh. I think we will. We will hug. Oh, Matthew's going to bed. Matthew, why? Um, okay, okay. I didn't know sleeping was that funny, my lord. <laughs> so these guys are just chilling out, Bombs chatting, telling each other about their day. <laughs> she wants to make a new friend and make a Ooh, group meal. We can do that. I think. Sheshire. Who else could we befriend? We can we're friends with Glenn. Oh, we do want to befriend Miss Bella Goth, so we'll send her a text. Um, and. Blanca Gallardo? Maybe. Don Lothario, for sure, is easy. Ezekiel, there's also Haley. So we'll just send all these texts out and uh, use the potty. And Miss Thing, she wants to spray some plants. I can't do that yet. But we're going to go with her to uh, work next part. And uh, so I'm just going to get these guys ready for bedtime because uh, they are tired. They had a long, long day. These guys... Oh, before they go to bed, um, she's feeling tense from the fire, but he's going to come here and he's going to flirt with her and embrace her and tell her a joke, a knock-knock joke. And then head to bed. Um, so I'm going to end this part here. If you guys are enjoying the series, do give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe for more videos since I put them out fairly regularly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.